So I want to talk about these overflow conditions and when they're bad and when they're okay. If you notice here we have a, a, a negative number and we have a positive number. And the way I can tell that this is a negative number is by looking at this leftmost bit. It's a 1 and then this leftmost bit is a 0 so that's positive. You can look at the range here. All these negative values, all the leftmost bits are set. And then the positive are the positive values of all zeros. Now zero is neither negative nor positive but we'll just say non-negative. So all the non-negative values have zero for the leading bit. Okay? Well, let's see, let's see if, if there's ever a case where a negative value and a positive value can be combined to break out of our number line here. Okay? Remember, remember I said if we end up three, four, five, six, seven. If we end up out here, that's bad. And if we end up negative five, negative six, negative seven. If we end up going out of bounds out here, that's bad too. All right, so is there any case where a negative number and a positive number could do that? All right, well, let's take the extremes. I'm going to take the, the uh, largest negative number we have in our range. So the largest negative number we have in our range is the negative four. Okay, this is the largest negative one. And I'm going to see if I put this big ugly negative number up against the smallest non-negative number is there any way that this negative 4 could take us out of the out of bounds well the smallest positive number is this zero it's almost not positive S smallest non-negative number is the zero all right so let's add them zero negative 4 well that comes out to be negative 4 so yeah negative 4 wins but negative 4 doesn't take us out of our range because the result here is negative 4. We still are in bounds of our range. We got close to leaving, but we didn't quite leave. So there's no way that, it, that the largest negative number combined with the smallest non-negative number can take us out. So let's try the, the opposite direction. Let's take the smallest negative number and match it with the largest positive number. Well, the smallest negative number is negative 1. Okay, so negative 1. And let's pit it up against 3. All right, three is the largest non-negative number. Well, negative one plus three is two. All right, so two one and not two three one in this case. It kind of pulled one up, and we landed at two. But two is still in our range of valid values. Okay, so there's no way that that adding a negative number and a positive number together could ever break us out of the range. So what we do with this carry value, we just ignore it and we look at this. All right. Remember, negative one plus three took us to uh, two. Okay. So negative one. All right. And then we need to go forward. How forward? We're going forward three. So one, two, three. That ends up at a two. All right. And so this just falls out. Now in positive land, or not positive land, in unsigned land. Oh, this is getting kind of messy. So let me let me pause the video and clean this up a little. bit. In in uh, unsigned land, we cannot ignore this carry here. Okay, so in unsigned land, um, one one one. Well, that's seven, right? Seven unsigned land, and then we add three. Well, okay, adding three forces us to walk forward. There's no there's no wrap around here. I can't wrap back to zero because I'm I'm breaking out of my bounds here. I'm going I'm going this way. So seven plus three. Last time I checked, seven eight nine. We end up in ten. Okay, and this is this is a ten. It's a eight plus uh, two. <laughs> I almost said four. Eight plus two makes ten in binary. So we cannot ignore that. If that's my bank account, and you drop that one off the end, you've you've just taken a lot of money from me. In fact, adding three dollars to my uh, seven dollar account took me down to two dollars, which doesn't make sense. We we have to keep that around. But in signed land. We're okay because remember we rolled this, we rolled this uh, number line around. We're okay. We can ignore this. All right. There's no way that a positive number and a negative number can break us out in signed land. Well, let's let's see if we can find a case that will will break us out of this these legit of signed numbers. So I'm just gonna clear this all off and let's start over again. I'm gonna probably the easiest thing to do is take uh, three plus three. Okay, three plus three is six. All right, that should take us well out of our range here. Four, five, six. We're going to go out of bounds if we do a three plus three. So here we go. Zero, one, one. So zero, 
one, one, and then that's our three. We're going to add it to three, so that's zero, one, one. Okay, I'm trying to walk out of this right here. It's okay to walk out right here in unsigned land. I can go three and then wrap around, and I'll end up at six. That makes sense, but we can't walk out here. We're forced to wrap around because we're on this wheel, just the same as we're on the wheel over here. Okay, so, so one plus one is, uh, you know what, even before I do that, let's just walk forward three. So three, we go one, two, three. We end up at negative two. Three plus three is not in negative two, last time I checked. Except if you have a three-bit binary number. <laughs> it is. Right? So this is where you get rollover. If you've ever added a very large uh, integer or short value to another large integer or short value, you'll see a, a positive number plus a positive number can end up in a negative number because of this. You wrap around. Right? So one plus one is zero. Carry the one. One plus one plus one plus one. Oh, yeah, well, you get the idea. Three ones makes a one here. And then we put a one there. And that puts a one there. Well, now let's look at this. This is kind of interesting. We know if the leftmost bit is a one, zero, or a zero, one, either way, we're adding a positive number and a negative number. If we have carry, no big deal, because there's no way that any of our big negative numbers can beat our, our uh, smallest non-negative numbers out of the range and vice versa. All right? So we know that these two cases are OK. All right? But now I've just added two positive numbers, and I've ended up with a negative number. Right, which is the case we had here. We just said three, and then we walked over. One, two, three. We ended up at negative two. This is negative two. Negative two. All right. So just by, I mean, some inspection here, you can say, well, if I have money in my bank account, a positive amount, and I add a positive amount, that shouldn't put me in a negative amount, unless it's a credit card company. Somehow they figured out a formula for that. All right. So, so there's a case that 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 rolls us out of our range. Doesn't make too much sense. Let's take some large, you know, we could do like negative four plus negative three or something, but let's do the extreme case. Let's just do negative four plus negative four. Negative four is one zero zero, one zero zero, all right? Negative four plus negative four. So zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, one plus one is zero, carry the one which comes down here, but we lose this. This is the carried out or it overflowed, whatever you want to call, call it there. And then we're left with this. Well, last time I checked, a negative number plus a negative number does not get us a positive number or a non-negative number. In this case, it's zero. All right? There's no way that a negative number and another negative number can get us a positive number. So we know something's fishy there. All right? So then the general rule is if you have if you have a negative number and negative number you end up with a positive number there's a problem. Okay, if you have a positive number and a positive number you end up with a negative pro negative number there's a problem. And then I, we already proved just by looking at it that these combinations will never break us out of our range. All right? Um, now it is possible that we have a negative number and a positive number or sorry <laughs> Let me erase that. Not a negative number and a positive number. We already talked about that case here. Uh, you can have a negative number and a negative number, and out pops a negative number. Well, that makes sense. Adding two negative numbers should still be a negative number. That's that's okay. That's always okay, right? And then a positive number plus a positive number should still be a positive number. That's okay. So this, in general, is all the cases you can have for that leftmost bit. So so whenever you have overflow, just just if you can remember these rules or come back to this video, either way that's fine. But that's that's all the overload case, overflow cases, the carry cases, if you would, um, for two's complement addition.